Hey guys, so I got my MCAT scores back and they were good enough that I'm still applying to medical school, so I'm going to do a quick video about um, MCAT study tips. What I'm going to say is pretty much how I studied. Um, it's not 100%. I tweaked it a little bit for what I might do differently, but um, just keep in mind that, you know, you should figure out your own study plan. If you think this will help you, that's great, but um, everyone is different, so just keep that in mind. Um, so first things first is that it's never too early to start. Um, I took my first practice test sections when I was like just after my freshman year. So I had taken um, two courses in bio and I had taken one semester of chemistry and one semester of organic chemistry. Um, and I think my first physical sciences section I took right after, right then, I had no physics and I'd only had a semester each of each chemistry. I got a seven. And um, my first bio section I took after a year of bio, I got a nine. So, um, you know, that just goes to show you how much you can learn in like one semester. Um, my second tip is to definitely take all your prerequisites before you take the MCAT. Don't like put off a semester of something until like after your MCAT because you definitely, um, should you definitely learn things that like will be on the MCAT in all of your introductory courses and even in some upper level courses. Um, my physiology course this past semester helped me with my bio a ton and my physics my, my physics class this past semester only physics too helped a ton also. Um, so I definitely would say don't put off a prereq until after the MCAT take them all first. Um, also on that note is if you know that you're going to have problems with like a certain subject, like if you find one particularly hard or difficult for you, take that like right before you take the MCAT because it will be fresher in your mind. Um, I took physics this year because I knew that I just had more trouble grasping physics than biology or chemistry. So um, I waited to take physics and I took it this past year and um, I'm glad I did like the stuff I learned in my physics class this past semester was right in conjunction with my physics studying for the MCAT and it really did like help me in the sense that like I would see a question on the MCAT be like oh I just learned that in physics and I'll just know the answer and so like I felt really I felt more confident in the physics section um, because I took the course just before I took the, the test so um, that's my first little spiel. My second one is that um, if you don't know like what you have to know for the MCAT or anything, this book was really helpful, the official guide to the MCAT exam. Um, I got it with my MSTAR, I already showed this. And um, this has like a breakdown of all the sections um, and the subsections you need to know, so like the body systems you need to know, what you need to know about cells, what you need to know about acids and bases, things like that. So. Um, that, this book was really helpful for that. There are some questions, but there aren't too, too many. Um, I would not say this is good for just like practice questions, but it's good, it's good to help you figure out how the questions are structured. Um, it breaks it down, like every question gets like two full pages of explanation, so um, it's pretty good on that sense. So I would recommend this if you're not really sure what to expect on the MCAT. But um, other than that, in terms of practice books, I had a really old Barron's book from like 2007 because that's like my first book I got. Um, I don't have it with me, but you don't really need to see it because it's kind of old. But that was all all sections, so it had um, bio, physics, and chemistry, biology, and physical sciences, those sections, and verbal reasoning, all in one book. Um, so that was just helpful if I wanted to take like a full length practice test or something. In terms of subject books, I had <clears throat> two Kaplan books. I had verbal reasoning <laughs> and biology. Um, honestly, I didn't use the verbal reasoning book all that much. I think I only did like one section in it because I found verbal reasoning to be the easiest. I mean, I know a lot of people have a ton of trouble on verbal reasoning and don't really know how to study for it. And I'm really sorry, I can't give you any tips on how to study for verbal reasoning because I found it to be really easy. It was my highest score out of all three. Um, and I just... I didn't find it to be hard. I didn't find it to be something I needed to study for. Um, it, it's just something that comes naturally to me. Um, 
reading comprehension scores have always been high for me. I don't know why. I mean, I guess just because I was an avid reader from an early age or my brain is just built better for picking out the theme of a topic. I don't really know. But um, so I'm sorry on that. I really can't help you with studying for verbal reasoning. But um, and I really can't even tell you if that book was good. But judging by the biology book, I'm going to guess that the verbal reasoning book is excellent because the bio book was amazing. Like I re like I do love this book. Um, I did all of it during my spring break. I did every single section. So this whole book I did during my spring break. And um, honestly, I think it raised my score at least one point. Um, it really just, you know, broke down things that I had forgotten or, you know, taught me things that were being skipped over in my classes. Like for instance, like I never really got taught about like all like the hormones in your body in my biology classes and that taught me every hormone I needed to know. So it was super helpful in that respect. Um, I also got the MCAT um, Organic Chemistry Exam Crackers book. I didn't use this all that much either, but the section I did do a good a good chunk of the sections. I just didn't use it like I used my bio book, um, but I definitely did find this helpful. Um, they didn't have a Kaplan Organic Chemistry book when I went to the bookstore, and that's why I don't have it. But um, or I probably would have gotten a Kaplan book. But um, I've heard ex I've heard excellent things about exam crackers, so I definitely say go for it if you want to. Um, I definitely found this book to be helpful, even though I didn't completely use it. I just kind of chose to focus on biology and let the organic chemistry questions fall to the wayside, which worked out for me, but, um, you know, if you want to focus more on organic chemistry, I would say this is a good book. Um, I didn't get a physics or regular chemistry book. Um, in hindsight, I probably would have gotten a regular chemistry book just to, um, refresh my memory, but I didn't find the need for a physics book because I was taking the courses uh, right before I was taking the MCAT, so I don't, I didn't really find a need for a physics book. I also had um, a box of Barron's flashcards for the MCAT. They were like $18.99. They were really cheap in our bookstore, and I just picked them up one day, and um, they had all the sections, um, or all the science subjects, all four of them. And I found them to be helpful just in the sense of I could carry them around easily and just sit down while waiting for a class to start and f start flipping through them. Um, I would definitely not use them as your main source of studying, but if you've been studying and you just kind of want to, you know, review the hormones or something, you can just pick out your bio cards and flip through them. Um, they're good for that, but they're definitely not good for, like, relearning everything. They're good for quick review. Um, in terms of classes, I didn't take a class. I didn't want to waste my own or my parents' money. Um, the classes are like $2,000, and I just didn't think that they would teach me anything new that I really couldn't figure out on my own. Um, I would say definitely take a course if you can't structure your own study time and if you um, don't really like know how to study for it if you don't know what works best for you I would say or or if you can just waste the money and you think you really won't learn anything um, then I think it's a good idea but I mean for me if I had had the money for it and if I or if I wasn't afraid to make my parents pay two thousand dollars for a class then I would have done it but um, I mean I did fine without it I didn't really you know I don't regret not taking a class, let's just put it that way. I don't regret not taking it. <laughs> so um, my main tips, study early, take everything um, before you take the MCAT and learn your trouble subject quickly and study that a lot because that will help you in the long run. Um, I'm running out of time so I'm just going to say if you have any questions feel free to ask me, put them in the comments or send me a message or something. I'll definitely get back to you. Um, Again, I'm sorry I can't help with verbal reasoning questions, but if you still want to ask, go right ahead. I promise I'll try to give you an answer, and I will talk to you all soon, okay? Bye.